Welcome to another episode of Project Dirty Willy. In this episode, just like we did with Project Renegade a while back, we're going to add some more power to the sound system. Like I said, we're going to add a little bit more power to the stereo system in Project Dirty Willy. The stereo system that's in there now sounds fine. Um, it has you know, a decent amount of power. It is really loud. All of the equipment was supplied by Soundstream. If you didn't check out any of those videos, make sure to go back and check those out. Um, right now we have a 1000 watt four channel amplifier inside there. Well, in this episode, we're going to swap that one out for two two channel 1000 watt amplifiers. Um, this will give us a little bit more power and um, the issue that we're having, and it's not really an issue, um, it's just, at really loud volume, um, we're running the RC6 component speakers, front and rear, or front and sound bar, in Project Dirty Willy. And once you have it cranked relatively loud, those speakers are amazing, but they can consume a lot of power. So uh, that single 1000 watt amplifier does get a little bit warm, but it's, it's, it's no big issue. Um, but I always like to have a little bit more than I actually need. One for the front set of component speakers and one for the rear set of component speakers should be more than enough power. What we've got to do is get the old amplifier out and try to find somewhere where we can mount both of these amplifiers. And again, like the other videos that feature Soundstream equipment, this equipment was supplied by Soundstream, so a huge thanks to them. Since we have this panel off, we're going to go ahead and remove our old amplifier. And by old, it's actually not even really old. Um, still relatively new. These little stealth amps are so light that I, I was actually able to hold this thing in with uh, four zip ties. And just like that, we've got it out. You can see there's not a whole lot of difference between the two amps. Um, you can actually really tell how small these things are when I put my hand out there. Um, this is the amp we had in originally, which is a 1000 watt four channel amplifier, the Soundstream ST4.1000D Stealth Series. And this is the two channel ST2-1000D. Um, the only difference is, uh, of course, one's a four channel, uh, the other's a two. Um, your power and protection indicator lights are on the front of these amplifiers instead of being back here. The reason why we're switching from a single four channel 1000 watt amp to two two channel 1000 watt amps is one, to get a little bit more power. Um, the speakers we're using are the Soundstream RC6s. If you didn't see the video of uh, the install of those, make sure to go back and check that out. But they have uh, an RMS of 200 watts and a peak of 400. Um, I would like to be a little bit closer to the RMS of 200. Um, this is a four channel, 1000 watt amplifier but you're actually only getting 90 watts RMS at four ohms per channel. Um, so I would like to get a little bit more out of it. Um, you can start to crank up the gain and stuff on the amplifier and you can get more out of it, but then your amplifier is gonna start getting hot and um, your gain is not a volume knob. A lot of people just don't understand that. They don't seem to understand that gain is not a volume knob. Yeah, it makes it louder when you turn it up, but it's not a volume knob. With running two of the two channel 1000 watt amplifiers, instead of getting 90 watts RMS per channel at four ohms, we're getting 140 watts RMS per channel at four ohms. So we're getting 50 watts a channel more. So that'll actually get us a little bit uh, closer to the RMS of the speakers. Um, and 50 watts per speaker or per component set um, is actually going to make a substantial difference uh, 
because we're talking, you know, a 200 watt difference in total with running two of these. Now, all we have to do is try to find somewhere to mount these. We know one of them can mount where this one came from, but we gotta try to figure out where we can mount the second one. As you can see, I've got one of the new two channel 1000 watt amps mounted in the same spot that the old one was. And then, I don't know if I can get this camera up in here. There's the other one tucked way up inside there. On camera, it kind of looks like it's sticking out in the way, but it's actually not. It's actually really high up in there. So we've got both of the amplifiers in there and the new sound screen VRN DD7HB. 